Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, then welcome. My name's Christina and on my channel, we talk all things beauty from my own experiences. So before you go, make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video and leave any comments that you have for me down below. It is a very exciting day in beauty because Rare Beauty has launched their lip oils. There are eight new shades. They retail for $20 and I purchased mine at Sephora. We're gonna be swatching all of them. I'm gonna give you guys my first impressions and my final thoughts at the very end. So let's get started. Actually, before we get started, if you guys are new here or if you're a longtime viewer of my swatch videos, if you find my videos helpful, if you enjoy them, please consider leaving me a testimonial for Sephora Squad 2023. I have applied for the 2023 program. I am super psyched about it. I really love the things that Sephora Squad is able to accomplish. I would love the access to industry leaders, access to campaigns and new launches so I can continue to make content like this for you guys. The sooner I can get content out like this, the easier it is for me to help you guys out in making smart financial decisions when it comes to buying your beauty products. And if you do feel so inclined to leave a testimonial, thank you so, so much. I would really, truly appreciate it. And just like believing in me in this opportunity. So without further ado, let's get started with the swatches. So like I mentioned, these retail for $20. There are eight brand new shades in this line. I believe this product is now available on Sephora Online, Rare Beauty Online, Kohl's, Sephora, as well as in the stores at Kohl's. So that is everywhere. Oh, and Space and K. So I'm gonna read off the specs for you guys really quickly so you have an idea of what these are before we get into my first thoughts. So they are a vegan formula. They're supposed to be long wearing as well as give you a natural finish. It says that's an innovative gel to oil lip tint that hydrates and nourishes with a soft pinch of dewy color that stays comfortable, never sticky all day. Highlighted ingredients include jojoba seed oil and sunflower seed oil. It says you can apply one swipe for a slick wash of color or layer for a bold juicy pop and I believe these also stain the lips. So for this specific video, since I am going to be swatching all of the shades today, I'm going to try to quickly go through them so I don't have them on my lips for too too long so we can get as true of a swatch as possible on my lips. I have them in order of what I assume to be the lightest to the darkest so we are starting today with the shade Hope. Hope is described as a nude mauve. Do a little hand swatch here for you. I don't know if I would call that a nude mauve. I almost feel like it's more of a true pink shade, but let's put this on the lips and gather our first thoughts. So it feels nice and cooling on the lips here. Very, very lightweight. I'm pressing my lips together because I want to get a good idea of what the texture is on these. I'm starting to feel a little bit of a cooling minty sensation. Felt very, very lightweight. Definitely feels like a film of oil on the lips. It's very thin though but the color is definitely there. Even when I'm pressing my lips together, I don't feel like I'm losing any sort of pigmentation. I don't feel like the color is moving at all. And actually the shade is really pretty. This is not normally a shade I would go for. However, as a wash of color, this on my natural lip color, I think actually looks pretty flattering. So with one layer, I would say that this looks slightly wet. It doesn't look like it's dripping wet, you know, like some, I guess, thicker glosses can give you that effect. Definitely dewy, more like a glossy feel. And I do feel like this feels more like a lip oil lip balm than it does a lip gloss. Doesn't feel sticky at all. I'm not feeling any stick. I don't see any of those like gloopy strings that some glosses can leave you with, you know? This is really pretty. <laughs> and then I'm wiping this off. Oh yeah, definitely leaves a stain. And, and this one, I think I had on for between three to five minutes and it definitely already stained, but oh my goodness, that stain, that color that it left, is even better. Look, and it stained the back of my hand as well. I'm gonna take my sponge and try to mute out that color. So again, we get the truest form of the swatch from all the colors. Next, we have the shade Joy, which is described as a muted peach and actually my favorite of all the blushes that they have. They're supposed to be the lip oil version of the famous blushes. I should have explained that earlier, but yeah. <laughs> I wiped it off immediately so I could avoid it staining and it's still stained, so. All right, and let's apply Joy. I definitely have to go back in the tube to do my top lip after I do my bottom lip. Whoa, she's so pigmented. That is really, really pigmented. This has to be one of the most pigmented actual lip oil feeling lip oils that I've tried in a very long time. Look at that, look at that color payoff. 
that is really, really, really good color payoff. If you are looking for a sheer lip oil, these are not going to be it. This was one layer. Now we have the shade Happy, which is described as a cool pink. These feel immediately cool and tingly on the lips now. Definitely more on the intensely cooling side of things. All right, and here is the shade Happy. This is really cute too. Uh, I am not usually a huge fan of cool pinks. I don't think that they favor me. However, I feel like this one is almost a cool hot pink on me where it feels flattering and fun and it doesn't really wash me out the same way something that's super nudie, cool pink would look. So far, We've done really well with the shades. I really enjoy this one too. Okay, trying to mute out that lip stain, but wow, really cute. Next, we have the shade Honesty, and I am really excited about this one. It's described as a nude brown, and I feel like I'm going to love this shade. I will say on the hand swatches, they don't come out super opaque and like even in color, but on the lips, they do seem to be giving me even coloring. So the swatches may be a little deceiving on the back of my hand, but I feel like it's looking really good on the lips so far. How pretty. I don't know if it's because my lips are super pink from those other three shades that we put on initially, but this is looking quite nude. And I'm adding another layer because I wanna make sure that I'm getting the true color of this without the stain of the other three really getting in the way. I think going forward, I'm going to do that, but this is the shade Honesty and oh my gosh, it does not disappoint. What a beautiful wearable brown. I could be wrong because again, I may be seeing some of the stain from the other shades, but I feel like this has just a slight touch of pink to it, but it's still a really nice like milk chocolatey brown to where I feel like it looks really, really wearable. You could even mistake this as like a brownie pink shade, even though it's described as a nude brown, but wow, wow. This is beautiful. I think uh, doing the two layers on this one definitely makes my lips look a little more full, a little more plump because I do have more of that product on it. So I do have more of that shine in it and it's looking really good. I like this finish a lot. Also a beautiful stain. Oh my goodness. That is a beautiful like brownie stain. Hey, I'll take it. I'm gonna try to use my makeup remover so I can maybe get rid of some of the staining action. Next, we have the shade Wonder, which is described as a rose mauve shade. I feel like every time I do the first swipe on the lips, I'm like, oh, that's gonna be a light color. But then I blend it out and it like transforms into a super wearable lip color. Like that first little bit on my lips does not look like how it does now. And my goodness, it's beautiful. Here's one layer. Let's do a second one. And here is the shade Wonder. How beautiful is this? It has a beautiful mix of purpley red to it. I feel like it can pull either way and you could wear it with either like eye color or maybe either blush color, you know? I think this shade would work for all complexions and just look universally flattering, but I'm just envisioning this on someone with a more tan skin tone, more deep skin tone than mine. It almost would look like a muted jewel tone. Man, these are powerful. <laughs> I feel like I need to take a concealer and kind of like dab it over. These are staining so much that I really don't want to compromise how these swatches look, you know? All right, now we have the shade Serenity, which is described as a warm rose shade. All right, here is one layer of the shade Serenity. I'm really loving the way these feel. They feel super hydrating and so cooling on the lips. Let's add a second layer. See, even when I press my lips together, they're not like stringy, watch. No type of stringing whatsoever. Just feels super slick. Such a beautiful shade. I think they nailed that description. It really does feel like a warm rose shade. Almost favors like a muted terracotta shade but a little bit more rosy than that i think it's gorgeous it's so fun every time i wipe it off i'm like what shade are we gonna be left with and every time i love it <laughs> like look at that how beautiful is that 
Second to last shade we have is the shade Delight, which is described as a rose brown shade. <gasps> oh man, look how pretty that is. Really excited for this one. Okay, so it's definitely lighter than the stain that's on my lips right now. So we are going to try to get it to the right color here. Here is one layer. Okay, and then let's go in with a second layer here. Okay, I think we're getting to the right color. Okay, here is the shade Delight. It feels like definitely a rose brown, but it also has a little touch of taupe in it, I think. Like it it gives me a little bit of a grayish rose brown. I don't know if I'm just making up like too many color combinations right now. This is easily one of my favorites. I could see myself wearing one layer of this on a day-to-day -day basis. I could see myself layering it for a night out. It's beautiful, truly. All right, let's see what color we have. Whoa, it's like, it's like fiery red. A little orangey red, like right in the center. Or is that the mix? I don't know. Is it a mix of colors? And lastly, we have the shade Affection, which is described as a muted berry. My lips feel soft. They feel really soft. After seven lip colors, that's impressive. Whoa, that pigment, guys. Okay, here is one layer. Super pigmented, almost covered up all of the stain. I just have like some un like outer areas that you can see of the existing stain on my lips. Let's add another layer. Please excuse the lip lines, the outer lip lines. They do look a little discolored because of the stain, so ignore that. I think the truer shade of this is going to be more towards the center of my lips. Ooh, that is like a... That's almost like a Bordeaux lip stain. It's really pretty. Now let's talk about my first impression slash final thoughts on this product. And I put the shade Serenity back on my lips for this last part. So let's talk about their claims and if I think that they live up to what they claim to do. So they claim to hydrate and nourish and they leave a soft pinch of dewy color. I think all of that is true. I felt like my lips were really soft and hydrated. It feels really nice. I don't feel like this is the type of lip oil that just sits on top of the lips and they don't actually absorb into the lips you know it leaves me with that same hydrated feel as their dewy lip balms do i think that's what they're called the liquid lip balms that they have in the collection but the initial application of these definitely feel very different from those in a sense that these all together feel lighter than those lip balms that they have in their collection and they definitely feel a lot more pigmented. I feel like the lip balms can get a little bit more sticky, a little bit more goopy than these, whereas these have like no goop to them whatsoever. And these leave a quite noticeable stain as well. Like I said, I did have to dip into the tube twice or three times to get enough uh, product to layer my whole lip for one layer, but that was fine. I mean, I still think that with each swipe I was getting pretty good pigmentation. I would probably wear each of these with just one layer. I think that they would be very nice to wear on a day-to-day -day basis as well with that amount of color. And if I wanted, I could build it up like I have it on right now for like they said, that pop of color. I forgot to mention that these have no scent whatsoever, but the taste of these are kind of odd. I'm not a fan of them. I don't necessarily go out and try to taste my lip products. Truly, I just kind of like let them sit on my lips and do their thing. I couldn't tell you what each lip product that I've tried tastes like, but I think that it's important to note because I did notice that these do have a taste to them. Whenever I was removing them, I did have a tendency to like lick my lips and I tasted like a little bit of a chemical slash sweet taste which is interesting because they don't have any sort of scent so I don't know where that sweetness was coming into so if you're sensitive to something like that or if you do find the lip product does sort of like seep into your mouth and you kind of taste it just be aware of that no scent however it does have a slight taste to them these products stain 
quite a bit and they stain quickly. Halfway through all of these swatches on the back of my hand, I was swatching them, showing the camera, and then wiping them off immediately and they were still staining. I think that the darker shades obviously stained a little bit more than the lighter shades. However, I did notice the lighter shades also stained the back of my hand and they definitely stained my lips. Every single shade I think stained my lips, but I was really impressed in that sense because I feel like they're very wearable lip stains. It wasn't like I removed it and it felt like it looked really patchy. It definitely felt like I could wear these just as a stain. Like if I wanted to just put some on, leave it for a couple minutes and then wipe it off and wear as a stain, I totally could. I felt like the pigmentation was nice and even. I wish I had a better understanding of what each one individually looks like on my lips as a stain, but unfortunately the nature of these videos, because I'm layering all of them on top of each other, I don't think I get the true, true form of their stains. I'm sure as I keep playing with these I'll be able to see what they all look like as a stain but I mean as I was going I really liked each color you know and it was really fun to see that each one left your lips with a little bit of a stain that was a little bit different from the like shiny version of them I think that these are super super pigmented they are definitely not your sheer lip oil if you're looking for something that is a sheer lip oil <laughs> these are not gonna be the ones for you and again the way that these feel on the lips they are very very cooling maybe my lips are more plump after swatching eight of the shades I'm not really sure but they definitely are on the cooling side of things when it comes to plumping products which I 100% love because I would much prefer a cooling plumping product than I would a tingly burning product that's just a personal preference of mine though if you also like that cooling plumping effect then you are gonna like that about about these lip products. Now, when I mentioned that I was gonna be doing a swatch video on these, someone asked me to compare it to the Merit lip oils actually, and I thought that would be a really great idea. And I can tell you guys right off the bat, these definitely have really good pigmentation. They are very true to the color in the bottle. I have taupe right here. Obviously has really, really great pigmentation there. It's definitely in the same family of looking like a pigmented lip oil. I also have the shade Au Naturel, Au Naturel, both equally as pigmented as the other. So let's do Honesty. So I'm going to swatch it right here. Now these are definitely not going to be the same shades. FYI, I just want to pull a couple to show you like the formulation of them. So we do have the two Merit shades right here. And then, oh my gosh, please ignore my sleeve mark right there. And then we have the lip oils on this side. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but the Rare Beauty ones definitely look a little thinner in consistency, but they still have the same amount of pigmentation, if not more than the Merit ones, which I was expecting. They just seem to be more pigmented. As far as the lip oil feel of these, I think the Merit ones feel a little bit more of a thicker lip oil, but it's not thick, you know? Like if you guys have ever used these lip oils, they're definitely on the thinner side and they're super comfortable on the lips. I actually really enjoy the Merit lip oils and I really enjoy the pigmentation as well. I find that I can wear the Merit ones with a lip liner if I wanted to, but I'm kind of thinking that with the Rare Beauty ones, I would be inclined to just wear them alone because they're already so pigmented, you know? I feel like the Merit pigment looks a little bit less than the Rare Beauty one and the gloss of the Merit ones are a little more than the Rare Beauty ones. So when I smear these, they kind of blend out into a nice like subtle color, you know? And then let's blend out the Rare Beauty ones as well. There you go. So maybe you guys can tell, but there is a little bit more pigment when it comes to the Rare Beauty ones than the Merit ones. It's such a slight difference in pigmentation. I feel like they would look pretty similar on the lips when it comes to pigment. These are definitely some of the more pigmented lip oils that I own, probably the most pigmented lip oils that I own. The biggest difference here that I noticed is that the Rare Beauty ones do leave your lips with quite a noticeable stain, whereas the Merit ones, don't stain at all. So those Merit ones I just wiped off and then let's wipe off the Rare Beauty ones. 
There you go. So you can see that initial stain before I smeared them out. If you find that maybe the Merit ones do fade on your lips because they are more of that thin lip oil consistency and you have to reapply it, and maybe you don't want to, maybe you want to continue to reap the benefits of having that color on your lips, I think that the Rare Beauty ones would be a good alternative because again, they do feel quite similar, but also the Merit ones don't have that plumping cooling effect. So if that's something that would be a plus to you, then the Rare Beauty ones are going to have that for you. Overall, I am really pleased with these. They definitely did not disappoint. They feel really great and luxe on the lips. They also just feel like an easy lip color to wear if I wanted to just like throw one on. I honestly could not tell you there was a shade in this line that I did not like. I kind of assumed that I wouldn't like the pink shades just because I don't prefer pinks on myself. However, I liked the way that these pinks looked. Oh, and I also wanted to mention, this is such an odd thing. I don't know if this was on purpose. I don't know if it's just me, but whenever I would initially apply the Rare Beauty lip oils onto my lips, the color looked completely different than when I started to spread it across my lips. When it initially hit the lips as a gel formulation. Once you spread it out, it turned more into an oily texture and it also kind of changed in color. You guys might see those in the swatches where some of the pinks looked really baby pink on me at first and then when I would kind of spread it onto the lips, it almost, I don't want to say oxidized, but it just kind of like transformed into a different, more wearable color. I haven't watched any other videos or seen any other reviews on these, so I'm not quite sure. I'm not complaining though, I like the color. I just think that videos like these would be super helpful for this product in particular since I did notice a little bit of that change. All right guys, that is everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I also hope that you found it informative. Let me know in the comments down below if you're planning on picking this product up and which colors spoke to you and which ones you're planning on picking up as well. And again, if you guys found this video helpful or any of my videos in general helpful or enjoyable, please consider leaving me a testimonial for the Sephora Squad 2023. It's not required to have testimonials. However, it would be super helpful for my application. I would really appreciate it. And having the ability to have access to product launches like this one before they hit the stores would be super helpful for me to like continue to make content that is helpful for you guys. And you know, times are tough right now. So buying every single color of a collection is not quite feasible every single time. But yeah, please consider it if you do enjoy my content. But if not, no worries. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!